So you've got a car, it's not the most modern, but it does take you from A to B, and it does everything you need it to. However, you would like to have the CarPlay and Android Auto system that a lot of these other modern cars have, but you don't want to be spending all that money on a new car. What can you do? Well, you can grab yourself one of these to start. It's by CarPod Go, it's the T3 Pro, and it's a portable CarPlay and Android Auto system that can basically go in any car. So let's check it out. So in the box, what we've got, we have the T3 unit, of course, and then we've got first a couple of different mounts. First mount we've got is this one. So I'm guessing it's called a ball mount, and then you put this section in there. This is like 3M tape, so stick that somewhere into your car where you want the T3 Pro to be. On the other side, you'd attach it to this magnetic plate. And when I say this is a strong magnetic plate, you can see how strong it is. I don't even have to get it that close, and it's already magnetizing on so and that will keep your t3 pro in one place another one you've got is you have this plate 3m on the back that could stick somewhere into your car on your dash if you've got a dash that has sort of textured material or doesn't work well with suction this is a good thing because you can stick this on and then you've got a smooth piece of or smooth plate to apply the suction to and that will work so you can use it with the telescopic mount if you don't want to put it up on the glass right we've got the the charger so you've got an on and off button and then you've got an additional usb port there 5 volt 2.4 amps and that will be the one to power your actual head unit you get an aux cable so if you've got aux in the car you can use this an additional thing that you can buy or can buy with the bundle is a Bluetooth to AUX. So if you have AUX in your car, but you don't have Bluetooth, you can get yourself this AUX Bluetooth receiver. So this will plug into your car's AUX. I'm guessing this would plug into some sort of power port, and then you'd be able to receive the Bluetooth system into your car. That's an additional purchase you can add at checkout. Another additional purchase is a reverse camera. So you can plug this into the back of the unit position this on the back of your car and then you can have the reverse camera there i think you can also wire it up to the reverse light so once you put your car in reverse the light of the camera will come on and you'll be able to see behind you so as you can see my car is not the most modern i've got the basic radio system cd player in there i don't remember last time i actually put a cd in there to play but anyway i've attached one of the mounts that comes with the carpod go t3 pro this is the minimalistic one with the magnet on the back very strong magnet connection like you saw previously that magnetizes onto the back of there now the t3 pro has a couple of ports in the back so you've got usb-c mic av in which is for your reverse camera audio which is for the aux port and then power that plugs into there i've already routed the power cable all the way around and down to the cigarette lighter so no need to do that now let's plug it in and let it magnetize onto that mount so as you can see, once it's magnetized on there and you apply it, it looks quite OEM. So just like them fancy cars that have it built in, it looks quite cool. And then because of the magnet, you have that option to take it off if you want to. Now the display is 8.9 inches, 1920 by 720 resolution. It's very vivid and it's got this laminated texture on there, which gives you a very nice crisp display. It's also 60 frames per second. Now that might not be a big deal for you, but if you've ever experienced 60 frames per second, you'll know that it's a lot more smooth than 30. And a lot of these CarPlay systems come with only a 30 FPS screen. So maneuvering about and pressing all the buttons and whatnot on this display is just a lot more satisfying with the 60 FPS. So I'm about to turn the car on. And just to show you, I was surprised when I first turned it on when using this uh, model of how quickly it actually boots up. So I've turned the key now. Straight away, we've got the VW logo. You can set that up in the settings. I'll show you a bit later on. And then we're into the actual system and then it's gonna load up CarPlay. And I think, see in under 10 seconds, you're already in, ready to go. You can already go and select what location you want on the map if you wanna do sat nav or if you wanna just play music, you can just do that if you want also. Now, before we get into that, let's go into the settings of the actual T3 Pro. So. We're gonna go here. So you've got a bunch of different languages you can choose from. English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, Italian, etc. So 
I'm sure you'll be able to find one that you can use. Bluetooth is just standard connecting it to your Bluetooth device. Mine's connected to my iPhone and then you'll have the Bluetooth name there of this T3 Pro. Yours will probably be different to mine. Display. Now for the display, you can manually select the brightnesses for the nighttime and daytime. You can also select the night shift mode. So at a specific moment at night, it will shift from the light to the dark mode, just to save your eyesight. Also, we've got wallpaper, self-explanatory. You get the choice of three wallpapers, which doesn't really matter. And logos, this is quite an interesting one because like you saw mine is VW logo. You use, there is approximately probably 15 pages of different car logos. So I'm sure you'll be able to find the logo you want to use. Even if you want to put on Ferrari and you don't have a Ferrari, that's up to you. Or you can just choose the standard CarPod Go logo. And CarPlay settings, you can do right drive. So I believe that if your car is on the right hand drive, you can select that and it alters the display. 60 FPS if you want to turn that off I don't know why you would but I prefer 60 FPS on and 10 second timeout return to CarPlay so if that is on and you're not doing anything on the screen it'll automatically return to your CarPlay screen within 10 seconds so let's press right hand drive just to show you what happens so now that we've done that if we go back so as you can see now I have selected the right drive so everything has changed orientation to be suitable for a car that has the steering wheel on the right hand drive so even when you go on split screen your main screen is on the right section and then everything else on the left i want to change it back so it's probably going to have to connect to the bluetooth again just like last time so display carplay settings change it back to left it will probably disconnect like it did Yes, and then I have to reconnect to the system and CarPlay connecting, it's going to change it all back to left. Lovely. Some other settings, let's see, because we haven't gone through it all. Something I like about this system is that it gives you the option to change the volume for each separate section. Unlike other systems I've used, it's just one specific volume for everything. So you can alter the volume for media, navigation and phone. So if you want your navigation to be quite low so it doesn't jump up with the high volume telling you to turn left you can turn navigation down but if you want to be notified when a phone call comes and you want it to be quite loud you can turn that up same with music it's a nice little touch audio output is a big section here one of the features on it is got dual bluetooth display only mode so pressing that will restart the system i don't really want to do that right now and what that will happen is that will turn the t3 pro and just to a display only bluetooth mode for carplay and then you're going to connect your iPhone or your Android phone, whatever you want, phone you've got, connect it to the Bluetooth of your car. That way, all the sound that's from your phone is going to go through the actual car system. And this will just act as a display for you to select stuff and view stuff on. You can also select FM, which is what I've actually selected. If you look at my radio system, I'm on 87.5, same as up on the display model there. Now you, you don't have to be on 87.5, you can select any radio station you want, but I would prefer to select one that doesn't have something on it already, just so the signals don't jam. And then AUX, of course, self-explanatory, plug in the AUX into the device and plug it into your car, and then the sound will be coming out of your car system. Also, if you don't want to use any of them, you can just select speaker, and then all the audio will just come from the T3 Pro itself. So I've selected speaker at the minute, so let's see, go into CarPlay and you've got Android Auto there with the button, with the arrow. So you've got a bunch of apps on here. The main thing I really use this for is music, sound coming through. So if you've got a podcast on your phone, the sound will obviously come through the system and then you can listen to it while you're driving. And then you've got different kind of maps apps, which I think this is the main thing you're going to be using this for. You've got Google Maps, Apple Maps, and Waze. Now, I was a long time Google Maps user, but I've transferred over to Waze, and I can say it's a lot better in my opinion. You've got Spotify on there if you want to listen to Spotify music, and general things like music and audiobooks. Not much else you really want to be doing on here. Google Maps, or your maps and your music is the two main things you're probably going to use this for. And then you can go into the split screen. You can see now it's on night mode. And You've got a search function up there for the navigation. You've got your music here. And yeah, it's just an all-in-one thing if you don't want to be spending the money of a new car and 
if you want to grab yourself one of these link will be in the description box below as well as a code to get $50 off because obviously disposable income is not that easy to come by these days so every little saving helps I've been enjoying this a lot it hasn't actually made me want to update the car because I've got all the CarPlay stuff on here and if I don't want to keep it in here I can take it off because it is magnetic for security purposes if that's what you want to do as well but yeah super simple super great display and that 60 fps is a game changer from the other displays i've used previously so yeah links will be in the description box below if you have got one of these let me know what you think of it down below if you've got another unit because there is quite a lot of carplay units out there like portable ones let me know in the comments box below one more thing when it comes to the actual reverse camera i have connected it here as you can see connecting to the port back there and then you have this red cable this is usually what's attached to or soldered onto the same power cable that your reverse light is connected at the back of the car so when you do pop the car into reverse it will send power to it and then it will come up on the screen i obviously haven't done that but just for anyone that does want to do that that's how that works and thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next video